This is the Dell XPS 700. Uh, I've wanted this case for a very long time. It came out in 2005. I saw it in a magazine. I think it was like Maximum PC. Um, and it looks sick. I, I always wanted it. Um, some of the biggest features, obviously, from this design, um, my friends call it the rocket ship. Uh, it also has a ton of cool things with the ladies I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I've been playing, I, I have been like obsessed with this as a kid. I would play with like the little micro site from, from Dell's site. And I just, you know, I was, I was, uh, when I was a kid, you know, I couldn't really get it. But then uh, 2016, uh, was it? Yeah. So literally four years ago, I saw this on eBay, just a case. And I was like, we're getting it. We're getting it, and I was so happy I did. This thing is very rare. You can't even find it on eBay anymore. But I figured I'd make a video on it and kind of show you guys like a firsthand experience. Like, what does it look like in, in a higher def quality? What does it look like? What are the features and some of the mods that I did? Um, by the way, I was thinking of trying to recreate this. Like, so if you guys really are interested in a case like this, maybe I can, I don't know, I can manufacture it somehow. But just look at it. It is insane. And as a size comparison um, with an iPad mini. So it is it is a full-size ATX case. Um, a lot of quirks with this, so let's kind of open it up. So there's a video on YouTube um, somewhere out there that basically shows the whole process of how this was designed and everything. And besides the, the visual aesthetics, apparently Dell mentions that when to design the door, it's, they said that they wanted it to sound like a shuttle bay door closing. Is what it sounds like. I think they achieved that. Like, listen to that. <laughs> it's kind of insane. So we're gonna open it up. Um, I guess one of the issues that people kind of complained is that there's no side view, and there's like no window. But I think it's justified. I think it looks a lot sick uh, for what it's worth. And yeah. Now a couple things with this, guys, is that uh, number one. This was designed for BTX, so basically that just means that, you know, your graphics cards will sit on the bottom and then your processor would be on the top half. Um, and obviously, you know, most cases are reversed where the motherboard is on this side, so these cases on this side. And this is sort of like a, a thing Dell, HP, all these companies relied on uh, is BTX. Now, what I did, I had a Antec 902 case and I kind of scrapped the motherboard backplate. And I kind of screwed it into some of the posts here. And so I was able to, I, I had the footage and I kind of lost it, but but yeah, like I kind of found a way to get my own motherboard here. I used a Dremel to ch chip out a lot of stuff, <clears throat> stuff in the back. So, you know, you have to basically remove this metal plate and the little plastic part here. So I didn't really put the plastic part because, you know, who cares? This is what it is. It's like the, it follows a design scheme from the front to back and there's metal parts. So I kind of just took it apart. I used this thing called uh, like JB Weld or it's one of those weld things. So it, it didn't really come out that great. And I, I you know, it, it's it's almost like not all the ports line up well. So there's a lot of modifications I have to do, but for the most part, this is good. Now, uh, this was, I modified this in 2016, it's 2020. Um, I have a couple of, well, I want to basically redo a lot of things here. Um, so, but yeah, this motherboard and, and processor, this is from like 10 years ago, like the i7-950, one of the originals. It's an EVGA X58 classified. Um, I have a crappy graphics card. Um, yeah, I just got a mortgage, so I can't really afford too much. But hopefully next year, I'm, I'm really hoping to get and see Intel like hit seven nanometer because they always do it better, so. But, you know, if AMD, if they can't compete, I might have to go AMD. But I'm just holding out for that for now. Um, my sister kind of gave me her computer because she's getting a Ryzen. So I'm going to, you know, use this in the meantime. This will really be my girlfriend's machine, um, my second PC. But for now, uh, this is going to be what I'm using for now. Uh, but this is a layout. Um, yeah, the motherboard would go here and then the everything. Now... The CPU would be on top. It have it have a it would have a one twenty millimeter fan, and um, the graphics cards would be here, and it would have its own fan. Now, when I got the case, there was nothing in it, not no parts of that whatsoever. So that was obviously, um, you know, I had to experiment and try and get cooling here. So I got two uh, 
two four, uh, 140 millimeter fans and I kind of I kind of chiseled out um, a piece of acrylic, which I, I really do want to do a better job with that. But yeah, so as you can see, um, yeah, it's just held very, you know, basic. I've got a, a, a um, kind of like a 240 millimeter fan filter so that it, it sort of helped. But um, I have some big plans where I want to scrap the, the drives here and put a 240, or I'm sorry, like a, a, a massive radiator in the front here. I'm thinking of a the 480 millimeter ones, or I would get, uh, which is like the four of the 120 millimeters, or maybe the three of the 140s, which is like a, I don't, I don't even know, 280, uh, three, 420, a 420 mil radiator. So I'm in between those two. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment, what I should opt for, because what I want to do is, you know, get um, an Intel, you know, this is a mainstream board with, as you see, you'll see like six sticks of RAM, but so I was going to go for like the consumer ones because like, you know, I just need a little bit more core count. Um, so I, I really don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. I've got a, a network, an Intel NIC and, and all that stuff. So this has barely like been hanging. Honestly, the SSD was what made this motherboard still worth it. I've got four drives here, as you can see. I <laughs> I got a hard drive dedicated to XP, a six terabyte storage, and and yeah, I mean this is so this is these are the hard drives. It has the clips here, and this slides out. Um, so it's okay. It, it, um, the power supply would fit any standard one. Um, so the fan is below here. You have to remove these cages before you can you can swap this out. So you have to like unscrew or screw all the way back on this hard drive cage. Um, I think just one will be fine, and then you can swap this out. So for the most part, it's very versatile, and you're, here's the, the uh, disk drive. And um, yeah, so a couple things with the LED system. It comes with, uh, can you see it? Yeah, one, two, three, four LEDs here. A couple things about that is that um, these, these LEDs will burn out if you use the 12 volts. You have to use a five volt rail, um, which I kind of soldered um, to uh, switches here. So I've got for red, green, blue, and then this one would engage the rear lights. So that was kind of cool that you've got rear lights, but um, yeah, at this point, there's really no need for a disk drive. So I figured, screw it, I can easily get a USB one or network share this drive if I need a drive, but there's really no need at this point. So I figured, let me maximize the, the cooling and just put a giant radiator in the front. Um, going forward. I don't know how it's going to be a big gamble, but um, yeah, and then there's these, I have to remove this somehow because this is blocking airflow, so I was going to cut one of these out, maybe 3D print one of these fins and kind of glue them into the side so it's like, you know, full air on both sides. I don't know. It's going to take a very, it's, it's going to be a very challenging one. Uh, so yeah, I've got the, I don't really use the LEDs that much. I really want it to be able to just control it by software. So I figured if I can't, maybe I'll just use an LED strip and just put it on the top and just, you know, install it with a, one of those Asus motherboards. Um, but yeah, uh, right now it's just sort of manual lit, but I, I, again, it's just such a pain. So I want it to cycle through. The power button, as you could see, was also a pain because it was like literally a nub. Um, hook up to this mechanism here. So I took out the little circuit they had there for USB and everything. I tried to put like a USB, I, I literally cut up uh, one of those um, front panel um, mother, mother plate thingies, whatever. And it was just, it didn't look good. So I'm probably gonna do it more official and hot glue some USB extenders here. And I don't know about the sound, probably not gonna bother, but use the power button, which I didn't have the right diameter, so I'll have to bring that in closer. It's, it is LED lit too, which I haven't done. I'm just gonna wait until I do the bigger, you know, clean out. But, um, but yeah, yeah. And, you know, this is this is a collector's item and I, I really like it. So there's no window, but it's fine. I think it's, it's something that's better than a lot of cases out there today. So, if there's anything you guys want to know about, to see um, anything interest of, of you guys, uh, please let me know in the description below and, um, you know, I'll, I'll try and make a video of it, but maybe in a year or two, I will do the whole conversion and, uh, you guys just stay tuned and, um, yeah.